Welcome back to the channel and today is my autumn wrap up. So autumn for me was really, really good, a really strong quarter for reading and um, the quality of the books was extremely high. I actually had no bad books read in uh, the autumn. I think I only had one in summer anyway, but I had no bad books uh, this autumn. I only read 11 books, which is slightly down from the summer where I read a couple more books because there's a few shorter titles in there. There's, I think there's like six chunkers in this in this slot. So 11 books read, no bad books. So if you see one of your favorite books on here, because uh, we always rank the uh, books now um, every quarter. So if you see uh, one of your favorite books, just know there are no bad books here. But I will start with a book that I wouldn't necessarily recommend. And that is Hex. I read this um, over Halloween, a pretty much bang on Halloween to be fair. Um, and it was a decent book. Um, it, it fell just around or just below the three star point. So I wouldn't go as far as to say it is a good book and a recommend, but it was, it was decent. It was fairly solid. Um, next up was a good book. Uh, so this scored more than three stars for me. Uh, this is The Dunwich Horror by H.P. Lovecraft. An effective read uh, for that time of year, very atmospheric. Another good book, um, starting to we're starting to get towards great here with the marks was uh, the Ghost Stories of an Antiquary. A couple of these uh, short stories um, by M. R. James were extremely effective and uh, really good reading for that time of year. And of a similar quality, I found the last part of the Wayward Pines trilogy, The Last Town, a very action-packed thriller um, that kind of kick-started my spooky season. From now on, all the books you're going to see. Uh, are going to be in the kind of great category. So over four stars, uh, I would definitely recommend reading these. The first up is The Gunslinger by Stephen King, uh, the first official book in The Dark Tower, but I think this was book three for me in The Dark Tower read-through. And yeah, more than four stars, very, very good book. And then um, book two in Live Ship Traders, The Mad Ship. Um, Robin Hobb, fantastic prose great characters you, you kind of know what you're getting at this point uh, from Robin Hobb and the live ship uh, trilogy has been extremely strong now we're gonna go into my top five for the autumn these books come with a very high recommend and they're all over four and a half stars first is the finale of Mistborn era one this is the hero of ages Brandon Sanderson again uh, quite a consistent uh, trilogy overall uh, I would say of a similar quality to the first book, The Final Empire, if you've read that. Next up at number four is Return to Adan by Philip Chase. This again is another finale, it's book three in the Adan trilogy and certainly comes recommended for myself. Next up is the last book of, of the whole of the autumn that I read and managed to come in at third place. That is Wrath, the final part of The Faithful and the Fallen by John Gwynn. Um, very satisfying climax to this four book um, series. Next up, a book that I thought might have a good shot at coming at number one for the autumn, but at number two, it's Bram Stoker's Dracula. Uh, a book of fantastic characters, amazing um, depth and, and atmosphere. Really, really was impressed by Dracula, but I suppose it's kind of a classic, so I, I suppose it was always going to be. And at number one, if you've watched the channel, this may come as no surprise, but it is The Brothers Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Now, this book was as good as I thought it would be from the recommendations. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a worthy number one for me. Uh, you know, the way it got me feeling and, and thinking uh, really was what kind of pushed it to the top of my list and just just edging out Dracula for number one of the autumn. 